I'm going to drill some power slides to start with. That's kind of a high speed stopping technique. I'm still a bit um, uh, a bit shaky at high speeds. At low speeds it's not so bad. And also I'm having trouble getting my uh, leg in the correct, my back leg in the correct angle. So a power slide looks like this. Wah! Going in that direction. And I'm, get, I'm having trouble getting my foot like in the right angle there. So I'm going to keep trying. Actually, that feels not so bad today. Maybe I slept on it and learned something. So I'm gonna go down the hill and try to stop. Bit shaky. give myself a bit more distance. I think that'll be a better angle as I come down towards the camera. Two. I'm looking for ten smooth ones in a row. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ten's enough. Oh. Okay, I'm going to practice my uh, hop into, it's like a little 180 hop. So I'm going forwards, I do a little hop, I'm going backwards. You'll probably see it several times but um, the problem I have at the moment is that when I'm going forwards I like to have my left foot forwards when I'm when I'm scissoring like this because uh, it's you know you get more balance when, when you like this and I like my left foot forwards just like if I was fighting or if I was skateboarding left foot forwards for me the problem is when you're doing a, a little hop 180 you're going from left foot forwards uh, oh yeah and when I go backwards I want to have my right foot back so I'm going this way but if I'm going forwards and I do a little 180, now my left foot is at the back. And that, that's like, the, when you're going backwards, that's your, your steering wheel. You steer with your back foot and then your right foot is there for uh, turning, well, you know, pushing and turning and stuff. Um, so yeah, one thing I need to figure out with the 180s is either A, do I need to practice going backwards uh, switch with my other foot backwards or do I need to figure out a way to do a little 180 where uh, do I need to push my right foot forwards first so that when I turn around it's at the back I think the second one I think riding switch is
it's like it's okay uh, on the flat going slow and I can I'm, I'm riding switch when I do my reverse crossovers which you saw in the last episode but it still like fucks with my head whenever I do it um, it's just not as natural as having my right foot backwards especially when you're going backwards I mean when I'm going forwards having my right foot forwards instead of my left is confusing enough but anyway okay I'm more, more practice that worked but I wasn't looking where I was going see the top of one of those ramps up there I want to go forwards towards it flip and do a 180 and then come down so I'm kind of I jump the lip of it and in the middle of that jump I'm doing a 180 so I go forwards 180 broom, in the middle of in the in the air and then I zoom down backwards and that's like oh that's my uh, you know future dream at the moment for now I'm happy just to be able to do 180s consistently if I can just be you know rolling around the park and just do 180 when I feel like it and then come back to front and then because at the moment when I when I go from forwards to backwards it's it's I do something called a transition the transitions when you uh, have your feet like this so I'm going forwards with my left foot forward and then I go transition transition and I'm going backwards uh, like this And that's fine, but it's not as cool. And also, if you can do a hop 180, then you can do that onto and off of things. So if there are a couple of little steps and I'm doing a decent speed, I want to be able to do a little jump, 180 in the air, and land going backwards. Uh, and you can't do that the way, the, the way that I do at the moment. You can if you're just like skating for fitness, but I'm skating for cool and fitness. And. Uh, because it's a really, really awesome uh, like thing to be learning. Like everything that I've learned so far has improved my strength and improved my balance and improved everything. It's like um, just picking a move that you can't do and then watching some YouTube videos and then drilling it and then you can do it. And then as time goes on, you get better and better and better. That's like so cool. And skating is just like, it's cool on top of that. So it's cool that I'm learning a skill. It's cool that um, skating looks cool when you're doing it well. I mean, at the moment, I don't look cool at all because you have to look like an idiot if you want to become a master. You just have to go through that forest. <clears throat> uh, so, back to the 180s. And I need to remember when I'm going along, if I want to do a 180, I need to put my right foot forwards and then 180. So if I do my left foot forwards, I'm going to end up uh, skating backwards, skating fakie uh, in switch position with my with the wrong foot backwards. First, I'm going to do 100 180s. So I'm going to do exactly what you just watched. I'm just going to do it 100 times, and I'll see you afterwards. Just going to watch the last few to see if they're any better than the first. Ninety-two. Ninety-three. Ninety-four. Oh boy. No matter how many you drill, 
Reach one. Wrong leg forward. Ah. Massive stumble off camera there. Fantastic. Okay, now it's time to do some more uh, in and out. More rolling forwards in. Rolling backwards in. skating switch and it's pretty hairy. See that? A little improv to avoid the crash. Those tight turn stops like this are always, they always depend on how much grip I've got on my uh, skate, which is one of the reasons that I like the power slide. Because when you're down here, if you want to slide, then you keep your weight on the front. Oops a daisy. And if you want to stop, you just sort of push up and you'll dig more into the ground. But with the uh, tight turn slides, I still haven't quite got the it's not, the, the weight distribution is not as obvious, if you know what I mean. Okay, so next thing I want to practice is jumping onto and off of that big block there. I've uh, already made a small start on the reps, I'm at 25. I'm just going to do a few, show you what I'm doing. Some other people have arrived now, so I might be a bit more uh, crap because of nerves. Anyway, let's go.
Okay, rest time. I think you've got the idea. Okay, last thing today is um, inside the bowl work. I said last time that I needed uh, to improve getting out. It's a lot safer to get out than it is to get in. <laughs> so I've started inside. Um, I'm going to do some ramp stuff up and back and back and back. Um, and that's all building towards, once you're in the bowl, getting up enough speed to get out again. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I just don't know how to do it backwards, so I get a lot of speed going up. Oh. Okay, so... I did a session before I started recording these things, uh, uh, where I did a hundred of these back and forward. But I wasn't working on getting height. Back then I was working on just being able to go backwards and uh, go up a ramp backwards and not, not fall over. So as you can see, I'm at the basically only just got it stage. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Yeah. You can see that 20th one, I'm a little bit out of gas. Oh, oh boy. One thing I need to watch out for as well is, because I'm a software developer, I'm basically sitting down all day, hunched over. And when you're skating, you have to stay forward and stay low in a hunched over position. So that's work on the back as well. Huh. I need to uh, make sure I'm doing back work. YouTube again, I need to go find a couple of exercises for strengthening the back and uh, bringing, bringing the, the hunch back, back to where it should be. Whew. I've put my water up at the top of the bowl, out of reach. Oh, this was a mistake. That, but that was pretty fucking smooth. And the sun was in my eyes. <sighs> Getting in, still a problem. I was trying to do it a bit diagonally that time, but that was the very first time I tried it, and you know, when your body doesn't know what to expect, it just spazzes. a lot less muscle this time. Whoop. Oh. Oh. 28. Oh. I don't know if you noticed between the first set and this set, that was like using momentum a lot more and physical force a lot less. Great. That's progress. That feels good. So, 
what is that from 38 to, 30, to 40 to 28 to 39 so that's 11 without fucking up too bad good more water required I'm gonna come out at the end there to see if you can see my technique I've got to say, that did not go as smoothly as the first time. Ah. I hurt my shoulder a little bit as well. We're going to go to 50 instead of 100. When I get a little injury that is nagging me like that, it's uh, time to give it a rest. Okay, 10 more. Nice and easy. thing that's ruining my skates. I had to buy some aggressive ones because these are for uh, inline slalom. They're supposed to be um, maneuverable and uh, sort of versatile but they're not meant for all of the crap that I'm giving them right now. So I got some uh, USD Eon uh, 72s in grey, light grey. I'll showcase them probably at the next session um, but it's going to take me a while to get used to skating in them because these like these fit like an absolute glove they're so comfortable so I had to heat mold them to start with which makes sense they're heat moldable so you should do that anyway um, but I was still getting some rub on the inside ankle on my right side or was it the outside one of the two but anyway this is like skate session number 20 so we've done about you know 20 hours in these and they are just, I don't, they don't rub at all. I can go forever, I could go all day. No rubbing, no soreness, no nothing. They're fantastic skates. Uh, these are the Powerslide Evo 2.0 uh, 2017 skates. There's a new model called the, uh, oh no, they're the, yeah, the Evo Pros, and they come in black instead of red and white and gray. Um, but they're like 500 euros, and these ones were, I think 350 or something like that. The aggressive Eons were only 200, so um, I'm not going to be gentle with them. Whew. Okay, here we go. Last time. One. Oh, wrong shoulder. Two. One. Two. Two. Whoops. Three. Daisy. Looking back over the shoulder makes me stand up, which makes me unbalanced. I need to look forward. I need to look over the shoulder as I travel towards it, and then look down as I get there. That's what's going to... Yeah, good. Good insight. Four. Four. Five. 50. 50. Huh. Huh. That's that session over. That was a really long one. I hope I've got enough memory to keep that video. <laughs>